The Silicon Power P34A60 1TB is an entry level M.2 SSD that promises to offer a good performance for a low price. The P34A60, unlike the P44A80, which I reviewed just a few months ago, does not have a DRAM chip or use the well known Fison made E12 controller. Instead, all of its performance relies solely on a silicon motion controller and the two memory chips used. And of course, the TLC cache. But more on the internal components later on into the review. The Silicon Power P34A60 1TB is available for purchase right now for around 100 US dollars or the equivalent in euros. And this price makes the P34A60 one of the cheapest 1TB NVMe SSDs available on the market right now. At least an SSD from a reputable manufacturer. We start with the design and there isn't much to talk here. While other manufacturers are concerned about how their SSDs look, starting with the color of the PCB and the label up top, Silicon Power is more concerned with delivering the promised performance with a low price, which is why this SSD looks pretty much the same as other Silicon Power NVMe SSDs. I mean, yes, the serial number and the model number are different, but the overall design of this SSD is pretty much the same. All this being said, it looks, no pun intended, that Silicon Power did not skimp on some design features, such as the all black PCB, which does look nice. Also this label, well, it's not just a label, as it is made from metal and will act like a small heatsink. The P34A61 TB has a standard 2280 form factor, which means, if you don't know it already, that the SSD has a length of 80mm, a width of 22mm and it is compatible with most if not all M.2 sockets that follow the same form factor and yes, this also includes ultra lightweight notebooks. The packaging of this SSD is pretty much the same we've seen with silicon power NVMe drives. It offers minimal protection at best and the SSD is held in place inside the box by this simple plastic tray. Also, there are no accessories included so don't expect anything with this drive. The controller used on the P34A60 1TB is the Silicon Motion SM2263XT NVMe controller. This controller has 4 flash channels and is known to work great with the TLC type cache and has no DRAM chip available. The memory chips used on this drive are made by Micron and have the model number 29R04T2. A0 CTH1. There are only two memory chips on the entire drive. Most likely, each has a total storage capacity of 512GB, given that this is a 1TB variant of the P34A60. Being made by Micron, we can safely assume that the reliability of these memory chips will be great, especially in the long run. And that's it for the internal components of the SSD. Uh, no, really, that's it. This drive is a single-sided drive, which means that all the components are installed on the top side of the PCB. This is good because, well, all components are cooled to some extent by the tiny heatsink that is the label of the SSD. Installing the SSD is very simple, as you just insert it into the M.2 socket of the motherboard and either secure it with a screw or just use the included heatsink of your motherboard to hold the SSD in place. In my case, it's the latter, as this motherboard has its own massive heatsink that holds down all the M.2 SSDs. We start our testing with copying some files onto the SSD. The total file size is 92GB and it is the same for all tested SSDs and external storage devices unless otherwise stated. And here we get to see the massive drawbacks of the TLC cache and the DRAM-less functionality of the controller, as the speed starts up good as close as 1GB per second and then drops to around 650 to 700 megabytes per second. And then the TLC cache is filled up and the speed just drops to almost nothing. Well, not exactly nothing, but it's still hovering at around 200 to 300 megabytes per second. And thanks to this test, you can also get to see the speed bursts and how the cache of the drive is trying to keep up the speed. Seeing this, we can assume that the total cache size of the P34A60 1TB is around 43GB. However, what happens if you write files that have a total size of under 43GB? Well, this happens. The speed drops from approximately 1GB per second and remains constant at around 600MB per second. Not bad at all. 
The first synthetic benchmark used in this review is Crystal Disk Mark 8, one of, if not the most popular storage device benchmark, not only because it offers consistent results when testing a drive, but also because it is very easy to use and does not require installation. And in this test, with the read speeds, the silicon power P34A61 terabyte is right ahead of the crucial P1 500GB SSD. However, that is with the read speeds. The writing speed is where each SSD is performing the worst. And in this case, the P34A60 1TB moves behind the crucial P1. Not by a lot, but just enough to make a difference in this test. Overall, the P34A60 1TB shows that it has quite a good performance. But we shall see about that with the next test. And this one is using the Ato Disk Benchmark, a synthetic benchmark that is used with the same frequency as the Crystal Disk Mark Benchmark. However, the main advantage of the Ato Disk Benchmark is that it uses different file sizes to test each of the drive, thus showing a better overall picture of the performance of the drives. And in this test, the P34A61 terabyte is pretty much in the same spot as it was in the previous test, right behind the crucial P1 500GB for the read test and it is in front of the P1 500GB for the write test. Again, quite a good performance for an SSD that has no DRAM and has a basic TLC cache. The final test in our review is another real-world test, and this will measure the time needed for each SSD to completely load a game level. The game used in this review is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running in DirectX 12 mode and in 1080p, with all the graphical settings turned to their maximum values, and with vertical synchronization disabled. And in this game, the Silicon Power P34A60 1TB is right behind the Silicon Power P34A80, and in the front of the Crucial MX500. Not too bad at all, especially again for a drive that has no DRAM. When we talk about the temperature, the drive reached a maximum temperature of 69 degrees Celsius while using a synthetic benchmark and a temperature of just 66 degrees Celsius when playing the before mentioned video game. The Silicon Power P34A61 TB is an entry level SSD that is affordable and can deliver a good performance. However, if you are looking for an SSD that can sustain a good speed while doing large file transfers, then you must look elsewhere. I am saying this because the P34A61 TB, while having a good speed overall, it will drop the speed once the cache is filled up. And if you are talking about large file transfers, then that means that once the cache is filled up, then you're in for a long wait to get the tasks done. For regular usage and gaming, this SSD is great. It's fast and it does not heat up that much. And this is what makes the P44A60 1TB such a good deal for regular users. It will just work. It does not need additional software for temperature monitoring or features. It should work as intended. Unless you are dealing with large files on a regular basis, this SSD should be a solid option for you. If you like this review, then perhaps you may consider subscribing for more. And if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below, you can find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.